Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to develop themes to help you to address your research question that you have. So I've already shown you how to create codes based on the significant information that you select and then put them under their respective research question. Let's go to the screen and then um, let me show you. So when you go to homepage, you can uh, see the code here. And sometimes you may want to review the codes and make sure that everything is correct in terms of the labels. Um, if you want to make any adjustments, you can just click on this setting icon and then you'll be able to make changes to the code. If you want to delete, you can delete the code too if you want to. So, and then in case you want to export the code. So the reason why I like, um, I want to do the, categorization outside is that, you know, when you do it outside, you have the freedom to group them in such a way that you'll be able to see all the codes and the relationship and then be able to develop themes that represent the categories that you have. So as I said, you can do it inside, but I prefer to do it outside the deals and come back again to the deals. So I'm going to show you how to do it. First, you have to export the codes that you have. How do you export? You click on this icon, right? And then you can click on export. And another option is to go to click on here, export data. And then you'll be able to go to the codes and click on this one to export, right? In Word version, you can export it in Excel, right? So let's try um, Word document and see what we're going to get, right? So I click on that and it will take a few minutes. I think it's ready. And then it asks you to label it. So I'm going to label it as um, deduce code as for 2022. And I click on save. I'm done. And then I can open it. Uh, so let me look for the document. So let me see. This is how it's showing. Oh, it shows the SFs and also the and also their respective codes that was generated. I think that's also good because sometimes you want to know the SFs that are connected or the significant information that are connected to the code. So all these are codes and under that you can see the SFs there. Especially this one will be useful if let's say you're going to write about um, you are writing your findings and you want to know you want to code participants. You can easily look at this document and then select some of the uh, uh, significant information and use it to coach participants to support the themes that you have. So having it just this way will be useful when you are you are presenting your findings and you want to you just quickly get access to the accepts, right? But if you want to do the categorization, this one will be it will look a little bit challenging because we want to focus on only the codes that you have. So let's go back to deduce and then export again. In this, this time, we're going to export in Excel format. So you click on export in Excel and then you click on OK and then you can um, save it. You open the document. So here you can see is the information is there. Is so what you need is so, so what we need are the quotes right under each of the research questions. So for the research question one, these are the quotes, and then this one for the research question two, right? So these are the things that we need. And then the next step that you have to think about is open a Word document. So let me open a Word document. Uh, you can make it landscape, right? So you're going to create a table. So you go to insert, create a table. And then you can make it two rows and about five to six columns are fine. You can add more columns, but let's make it five, uh, maybe six columns, right? We are focusing on research question one, right? We're going to focus on the codes that are related to research question one, right? So you are looking for the causes of burnouts, right? And then you are creating this table because you want to categorize the codes that you have developed into clusters, right? So um, you can state cluster one, cluster two, So, you know, it can be cluster five or six, you know, 
the, each cluster represents the theme that you're going to develop, right? So one when you finish, you can enlarge this one. So what you're going to do is that you're going to bring the codes inside these clusters based on how they are related, right? You could, you know, start with the first one, right? Being young in the profession. So you can select that. Let me go to here, edit. And then, so you can first select this one. You can bring it to the first cluster or, um, yeah, you can bring it to the first cluster. It doesn't matter the cluster that you're going to put. The most important is the information that you are putting there in their classes. They should be related, right? So you put it there and you go to the second one, feeling inadequate. Feeling inadequate and uh, being young, they have something in common, right? Because if you are young in the profession, you feel like you are not adequate. So you can bring that part thing here. Um, you can bring it like a bulletin so that it's separated well. You push this one back a little bit. And then the second one is again in work experience. Oh, it looks like gaining work experience is part of the solution. So uh, I think the mistake was made to put it under the research question where it's supposed to be part of the research question too. You can easily make that correction. And so you see, because you know you are using a software and sometimes you make mistakes, right? So you can easily go back and then um, correct the mistakes. So gaining experience is more of for the second research question. So you can just drag and drop and put it in the, the solution there. Right, so that to be part of the research question, so it doesn't belong here. So we 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 will skip that, and then when we are doing the second research question, we bring it to that cluster. Having long hours can be be in a different cluster, right? And then the second, the next one is having numerous work related. So what you're doing is that you are grouping them based on how they are related. At the end of the day, this is how you're going to look like. Let me show you this one. So you categorize them based on how they are related. So you see that, you know, when I was doing, I, I brought this one to the first cluster and this one was second cluster. It doesn't matter. The most important thing is that the, um, the cluster members are the same kind of, they have something in common, right? So this, all this can be in second cluster and all this can be in the first cluster. The most important is when you look at a cluster membership, do they have something in common? Uh, so the numbers here are just significant information, number of uh, number of significant information that are connected to the, the to the code here. So this one is four. Four significant information connected to the code here, one significant information connected to this code, right? So the next one is to label the cluster. So after you have grouped them based on um, their relationship, right, you label it. So looking at this content, having high workload represent all this information, being new to the profession represent all this information, putting in extra effort belongs to all this information. So you see that at the end of this exercise, we have our theme. We have four themes addressing the first research question. You're going to do the same thing for the second research question. You categorize them based on their similarities. And then at the end of the day, you have your themes addressing the research question that you have. So when you finish, what you have to do is go back to the deals and bring the, uh, the themes that you have developed back to the deduce, uh, back to the software. So how do you do that? So let's go back to deduce. So, and then click on quotes so that you can see everything. So what you're going to do is that you click on the plus sign here, and then you bring all the themes that you have created here back here. So you copy and bring them here. You can describe it, but it's not needed. Um, and then also indicate themes so that it will be very different from the codes that you have so that you can, you can differentiate between this one and the codes so that you see that, okay, these are themes, right? So you can see here, I brought a theme here. I'm going to do the same thing. I click on plus sign here, close to the one that is close to the research question. 
I bring the theme that I've developed back here. And then I type theme and then I click on submit. I do the same thing for the next one plus sign. And then I go to the theme. And then I type theme and then I click on submit and I'm going to do the last one. Click here and then click on the theme. And then I click on submit. Now I have all my things for the research question one. What do I have to do? So we see that sometimes you make mistakes, right? You can see here that there, there's a team that I mistakenly click on the plus sign maybe here. So it's outside the research question. So I can just select and drag and drop it into the research question one so that to be there right now that you have all the thing you see that there's a zero there's this means there's an empty containers now you're going to drag and drop the codes into their respective themes right so if you can see the table we have all the codes here let me show you quickly so we have all the codes here and the themes, right? So we are look, going and look for the codes and then drop it into their respective themes. So let's say, let's look at the first one, having high workload, right? Ha okay, so this one can be dropped into having high workload. This one can be dropped into having high workload. So you see how I'm dropping into their respective themes, right? So that's what you're gonna do for all of them. No work, family balance, having less time for family. So I put it there. And then I have less time for, for themselves and family, less time. That would be having less time. So you drop it into having less time. And then I have one left, working harder than counterpart. So you see that now I have all the codes drop into their respective themes, right? When you click on the, this arrow, you can open it and then you can see the code drop into the. So that's what we're gonna do for your uh, research question. You're gonna do it for this research question two, too, right? You're gonna do the same thing. So let me show you at the end how your, the final product will look like. So you see here, when you go to codes, you will see that all the codes, you have all the themes, right? When you click on the, the arrow, you have the themes there. So now you have your themes, right? And you see that when you look at this one, we have three here. This is three significant information connected to the theme because you add two to one, right? Two significant information, one significant information here it will be three, right? That's why we have three here. Now you're almost done. Now, what you have to think about is what do you do with the results? So you can export the results, right? In um, You can export the code in Word documents to uh, or in Excel so that you can, you know, use it to write about your themes, right? You can also export the excerpts, right? When you go to home and then you click on export you'll be able to export uh, all the information that you need the the demographic information which is the export descriptors you can export the code you can export the media the data itself you can also export to the S, uh, sf you can export memos right i didn't show you how to write memos so memos is easy if you want to write memos see this one icon here 
you can click on it and then start writing a memo and then link it to this one, right? So there are many ways of, you know, writing your memo. You can write it here or you can go to memos and you can create a memo and write it or you can import a memo, maybe if, if it's a field note, right? So this is what I have for you in terms of developing the themes. The next stage is to think about visualizing your findings. How do you do visualize your findings? You know, you already have this information here. You can explore and see whether you want to export anything. So you can click on the count, subcode count. It will show for the research question and also for the um, the themes that you develop or the codes that you develop, everything will be here. You can also export this one. You can click here and export this one. You can also click here and export. So there's a way, many ways of exporting to show that, you know, to demonstrate a visual representation of your data.